Ryan. Well, joining me now to discuss is Laura Trump, Fox Business contributor and daughter-in-law to former President Trump. Laura, so good to have you with us today. I want to start with your reaction to this story. It seems so on brand for our moment and yet so problematic. Yeah, I mean, even a year ago, Brian, we would have heard something like this and said, there is no way they're going to suck the life out of the holidays, too. But here we are. It is actually happening. I think this is like cancel culture just gone a, a, a run amok and gone awry. And uh, I, I think it's really sad to see this continue to happen. And we're always like, well, when is it enough? When is it going to stop? And it continues. I mean, I'm so happy that these parents are speaking out and speaking up and calling it out because it, it does just what I said. It sucks the life out of everything. Cancel culture. Comedians are no longer funny. People don't want to talk about their, you know, being a conservative, being a Republican. They don't want to speak their mind anymore for fear of being canceled canceled, losing their job. I, I mean, it's so sad for the students, too. Gosh, I remember in school, remember we looked forward to holidays. You did projects leading up to Thanksgiving and Halloween and Christmas. Now it's just for the days off. That, that's terrible. I really hope the school board reverses course on this decision. Really crazy. You know, you brought up an interesting observation. We're watching parents react to these things in ways that we've maybe never seen in this country. Do you think it's a silver lining coming out of all this craziness that parents have just a new level of vigilance about what's happening in their schools and they're not afraid to talk about it? Yeah, I think you're right. That is something that maybe is the positive here. Um, you know, for so long, we just kind of went along and said, well, the schools are going to teach our kids what they should be taught. We're not going to worry about it. Um, but I think this is, you know, a, a signal to politicians out there, to people out there that really want to push the envelope too far. When you start messing with people's children and their futures, that's when the parents get involved and they say enough is enough. Um, so good for people for speaking up, good for them for paying attention. You see things like this critical race theory being um, you know, pushed on our kids in schools. It is time for the parents to stand up and speak out and do just what we saw those parents there doing that clip. Well, it may not be long before they have to start speaking up on other issues like the flag. I want to get your take on this. Taking on old glory, Grammy winning singer Macy Gray attacking the American flag, calling it just a quote, replacement for the Confederate flag, saying, quote, the American flag has been hijacked as code for a specific belief. God bless those believers. They can have it. Like the Confederate, it is tattered, dated, divisive, and incorrect. It no longer represents democracy and freedom. It no longer represents all of us. It's not fair to be forced to honor it. It's time for a new flag, says Macy Gray. Laura, your reaction to that? Well, it's that flag and what it represents that gives her the freedom to say that. There are a lot of countries she would not be afforded that right to say such things. Um, but I think it goes further. You know, it, 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 we used to have a moment where we could come together, Brian, on one thing, the American flag. Now even that seems to have been politicized. You hate to see it, but, you know, we had the New York Times contributor um, speaking out like two weeks ago saying she was out on Long Island and so upset about seeing all the American flags flying. Well, that flag people have died for, people have lost limbs for, um, people have lost family members for. You know, you go around the, the world to countries where people uh, have to deal with communism oppression, tyranny. It is the American flag that they use as their symbol and their beacon of hope and freedom. Um, it's a really important flag. I hate to see this happen. I think the vast majority of Americans disagree with her. We do not need to do away with old glory. It should represent every single American. And I think most people feel like it does. You know, you get the sense that she's never talked to anybody who's had an American flag hanging from their home or, or in their front yard. You talk to people who display the flag and there's a reason for it. And it doesn't have anything to do with the Confederacy. It doesn't have anything to do with ideas being hijacked. It has to do with bedrock principles of freedom and opportunity and hope for the world. Let's have a conversation about what the flag really means to the people who take great pride in it. I just don't feel like that conversation is happening, particularly on the left in these ideas we're, we're seeing expressed here by Macy Gray. 
Yeah, and by the way, don't forget that Macy Gray also sang at a concert for President Joe Biden. So I'd like to get his take on this. Does he agree with this standpoint? This is terrible to see. Uh, this past weekend, yesterday on Father's Day, Brian, for Father's Day, I got my dad a new American flag because th that's the kind of people we are. We love this country. We want to represent that. We want to show people our support for, for Americans, for our military. Um, it, it's really terrible that we have come to this place, but I think you're right. Why aren't we having a conversation about what the flag really means to most Americans? And it's a very positive connotation. There's nothing negative with it. And for somebody to suggest that, I think, is a really sad commentary as to where we are right now politically. Important issues. Laura, thanks so much for weighing in. We always appreciate your perspective. Thank you.